It's the new hot 93.3. It's Scotty, uh, Brett Mega. Dude, I saw I saw Incredibles 2 this weekend. I don't want to ruin it for you. Big but, opening weekend, yeah, all took, right? Took my son Chance, uh, and uh, we actually went with the whole family, stepdad. Mom, little brother. You were super. Cool. You were super excited for this because Incredibles is one of your favorite Pixar movies, and that's what we're about to do right now. Yeah, I do love uh, the Incredibles, but I'll tell you what, and, and you, this might surprise you. I said we're going to do our top three. It didn't land in my top three. Okay, cool. Really close though. It, it was an honorable mention. All right, I would. I feel like I couldn't respect right. that Pixar. So I'm a huge Pixar fan. I've read the book, yeah. created uh, Creativity Inc. How the business got started, how everything is it had come from Steve Jobs and Ed Cudmel and stuff like that. So I love, love Pixar's. So I got respect yep. that there's a lot of good movies and now a movie as good as Incredibles wouldn't make the top three. I can respect that. Now, I will say this for everyone thinking about going to see Incredibles 2. It probably would, might have made my top three if it was eligible, but it wasn't eligible okay, be, because you haven't seen it yet. So that's not that's not fair. Okay. So uh, and not that this is a competition. It's just our favorites. Sure, yeah. uh, so here's what we want to do. We're going to talk about it right here. Our top three and maybe an honorable mention of our Pixar movies. Now there's 20 to choose from. We're not talking about any of the short films because a lot of those came out and actually won a lot of awards and things like that. So we're talking about the Pixar films that are in the uh, 20 released films according to, you know, their website. And, and Pixar their, and Disney you know. have like teamed up with stuff like that for some of those live action yeah, films and stuff those. like that. We're looking for Pixar's animated films. That's right. Okay. Yeah. So uh, let's uh, start with the top three. Uh, do, okay. Uh, uh, do you want me to start or you no, want to start? You can start, start? Go ahead. Okay. I'm going to start uh, with a movie that I was nervous about putting in the top three because I'm not as nostalgic about it, but I've seen it a couple times and it is so good and the messages are so good and the way it's written and the, but I'm going to go with Coco as my, a, at number three. I'm gonna go with Coco. Have you seen Coco? I have. So I've seen. I've seen like, like I said, a huge Pixar fan. Yeah. All of them are really good. Yeah, I loved Coco. I thought. I thought just the storyline, the way it told it, the culture bringing into other kids. Like I thought that's really important. Okay. Like my son Chance now knows about a different culture, uh, which is I think is super cool. And I just thought it was a beautiful story. Like had me to. It had me tearing up. I'm not going to lie. I won't rip on the movie because I don't think you can rip on any of them. Yeah. But I also would just point holes in your argument that every single Pixar movie, and that's what makes it so special, has an important message for kids. And that's what makes yeah. Pixar so cool. But I like this culture, the, the specifically the cultural yes, one. Yeah. Every one of them has yeah. a cool message. And, and so Incredibles was so, uh, I have as my top three, which I felt like was super relatable for me because the whole storyline is about struggling from work and life balance. And right. Where's my super suit? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you want to walk in here and people are telling you know about stuff, right, Brett? Yeah, and no you capes. can't find your super suit. No capes. No capes. No capes. <laughs> I do like the uh, Incredibles. I think it's fun because it's a, it's a family. It's about the whole family dynamic, too. Like, uh, and then the one, a couple of interesting things about Incredibles. Originally, it was, it was supposed to be called the Invincibles, not the Incredibles. Right, right, right. Uh, and, the, and the other thing is, I think we all think about what happens when superheroes get old. What happens like when they kind of <laughs> retire? And that's kind of what the take on Incredibles is. So I, I really like it. You know, for for me, um, you know, the, the Incredibles is cool too because that's something that like me and my son, like Chance, it, he sees him as Dash and me as Mr. Incredible. Like it's a relatable thing for that. And then he has a little brother and he's like, oh, that's like Jack Jack. Like it's a, so I think it's a really, really relatable for kids. So that was your number three, right? Yep. Uh, number, I'm going to go with number two. And I think that this might be your number one. I'm not sure, but I have to go uh, and put number two. To infinity and beyond. Toy Story, I'm going to put at number two. I don't have this at number one. You don't have no, really? So you did you have a number two or not? I, have, I have Toy Story at number two as well. Cool. So we both have it at number two. And so and they're about to make the fourth one. Is that correct? Yeah, Toy fourth Story one four. Yes. Yeah, that's now two and three were in the running too, but I, I, there's nothing like the original. Toy Story two Andy. was one of the the hardest movies they ever had to make, and it was actually one of the only ones that they've had since then. But it didn't do as well, and they had to live up to this hype of making the sequel. And I don't think a lot of people realize this, that Toy Story was the world's, world's first computer animated yeah. film. It was, it was Pixar's oh, first film. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But this is the Two. yeah, like, but they did shorts and stuff like this. This is the first ever, uh, like, uh, theater film made only on computers because you know Disney had done like Lion King and all and that stuff. It's animation. all yeah, it's all animation with hands and stuff like that, and they hand draw stuff. All of this stuff was made on a computer. They had never done this before. It was a risk that no one had ever taken before. Which uh, is crazy. Uh, all right, so that's our number two. So, so far, we both have Toy Story at number two. I had Coco at three, and you had, um, uh, I forgot, or Incredibles at three. Yep. And so now the number one picks for Pixar. 
I'm going to, so I, I love the, uh, something about this movie. I don't know what it is, but it's really impressive that it brings as much emotion as it does without saying anything. Wally. Wally, eh? Yeah. Eva. Eva. It's so cute. Oh. It's so cute. I don't know what it is about Wally. It's one of my favorite movies. I can watch. Maybe it's because it, they don't talk and there's not a lot of dialogue. Yeah, and which they, they struggle with telling the story. That was something that was they had to work really, really yeah, hard on. Which I think is the, one of the most impressive things. And I and I also think that there's a cool message in that too, is being able to express yourself other ways than your words. Like everything's important. Your your body, uh, your mannerisms, the way you look at somebody, the way you the way your body uh, language says things like. It's really, I think that's really important. And then the cute little relationship between Eva and Wally. It's, it's so adorable. I love it. So what I had at number one, <laughs> topping Wally, yeah. was Inside Out. That's anger. He cares very deeply about things being fake. So that's how you want to play it, old man? No dessert? Oh, sure. We'll eat our dinner right after you eat this. Ah! No one's ever seen anger before. Yeah. yeah. Never. <laughs> never. One, we Such saw, a good message. We saw Inside, Inside Out together with Chance, your yeah, son. Uh, and one of the reasons I love this movie is not only do I think they did a great job with the movie, but it's actually in a lot of ways what my wife does. My wife right. is a play therapist, and they use a lot of play therapy and stuff like that and that type of therapy for the kids that she helps every single day. And it taught me a lesson that I think I, as adults we constantly forget. You can be two emotions at once. Yep. You can be angry and joyful at one time. And sometimes we forget. We always compartmentalize our emotions. Right. And that movie just is a constant reminder, even for me, like, it's okay to feel two things at one time. Not, not only that, it's okay to feel any of those. It's okay to be upset. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to be angry. It's okay to be those things. And, uh, and, and I think it's really interesting. And that, it's okay to be sad. It's important to be sad. Yeah. And they had 26 different emotions that it actually had went through before they narrowed it down to the it emotions they down. chose. Yeah. Yeah. My, and my brother writes children's books and he writes a lot about emotions and identifying with your emotions and, and may, and showing that it's okay to feel these things and that everybody feels them and how to deal with them too. So those are our top three. I had uh Wally at number one. <laughs> He's just so damn cute. Uh, number two, I had toy story and number three, I had uh Coco and Brett, you had number one inside out. Toy Story at two and Incredibles at number three. I gave honorable mentions to Monsters Inc. and Finding Nemo. Also, Did you know those that? Those were some good ones. That's a great one. Yeah. Uh, Billy Crystal was originally chosen to be Buzz Lightyear, passed on it, called it the biggest mistake of his career, and that's how he got Monsters Inc. He didn't even know what the movie was. They called him and he just said yes. So they now, didn't even know the script. So now Billy Billy Crystal is. Yep. There you go. That's how that happened. Didn't right. even know what the movie was. He goes, biggest mistake of my life is we'll not doing Toy Story. We'll post our list at Hot 93.3 Hits on Instagram, and you can go ahead and comment with your top three uh, Pixar films as well. But go see Incredibles 2. Not getting paid to say that. I just thought it was really good. Awesome. All right, hot 93.3 Hits.com.